Hi, I'm Andy Sparks. I'm head of the feline unit here at the Animal Health Trust. What we're going to do this afternoon is just go through the normal procedure for taking blood pressure using Doppler equipment in the cat. This is the cat Doppler equipment supplied by Thames Medical. This is the Doppler unit itself, on off switch on the front, volume switch on the side and this is the probe that actually contains the Doppler crystals that are used to detect the flow of blood through the artery. This is the cuff that's placed around the limb. Uh, the width of the, the inflatable part of the cuff should be around 30 to 40 percent of the circumference of the limb that it's being placed around. And this is the sphygmo manometer um, used to inflate the cuff and there is a slow release valve on the back here. When you're measuring blood pressure in the cat, it is important to try and do it in a stress-free manner as possible. So we like to let the cat settle down in the environment for a few minutes before actually trying to measure the blood pressure, preferably doing it before any other procedures such as clinical examination, rectal temperature taking and so on. And it's better, if possible, to have the owner present as well. So we let the cat settle down for a few minutes and then we put the cuff around the forelimb. So that just has to fit snugly around the forelimb. The area where we actually detect flow of blood is the common digital artery, which we can detect between the carpal and metacarpal pads. Now to get good contact for the Doppler probe, you need to just damp down the fur in that area. Okay, with uh, some spirit is ideal for that. And then we need some ultrasound coupling gel as well. So we normally put some of the gel, again, in that area between the carpal and metacarpal pads. Just thoroughly moistening all the hair in between those pads. And then a little bit more ultrasound gel on the probe itself. Then we can place the probe just below the carpal pad. And once that's in place, we can then turn the machine on. Then the position of the probe just needs to be gently altered until you can hear the flow of blood. Once you get a clear signal, we then gently inflate the cuff. Okay. It's to the point where you can no longer hear blood flow. And then slowly allow the cuff to bleed. The point where you first hear the blood flow again is systolic blood pressure. We do this consecutively around five times. Inflating the cuff to around 20 millimeters of mercury above the point at which you can no longer hear the blood flow. And gradually deflating the cuff And that point where you can first hear the blood flow again is systolic blood pressure. We do it five times, and ideally, each of those occasions should read about the same. 